In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In our second reading this Sunday, Paul describes the Christian church as a building project. But it was one for a time that had a wall dividing people. This wall existed in the Old Testament because of the covenant God made with his people at Mount Sinai. It divided Jew from Gentile. Paul writes, But now, in Christ Jesus, you who once were far away have been brought near by the blood of Christ. For he himself is our peace, who has made the two groups one, and has destroyed the barrier, the dividing wall of hostility. And Paul says that this dividing wall was the law with its commands and regulations. Paul is referring specifically to the unique worship and governmental laws the Lord had given to his Old Testament people. God created these laws in part to separate his people from the Gentiles. But God did not do this because of ethnicity. He did it to keep his people safe from the false teachings of the pagan religions around them. Gentiles could be brought into the Old Testament church, the Old Testament building God was constructing. But again, the main purpose was to protect the truth and the promise of the Savior. Understandably, this did not set well with the Gentile people living around the Israelites. Read in the Old Testament and you will find all kinds of examples of this in attitudes and arguments that basically say, what makes you any better than us? And this attitude of hostility is not limited to Old Testament times. This same hostility exists today between believer and unbeliever. And that is what truly divides. Yes, the ceremonial and civil laws divided, but unbelief is the great divider, the the creator of hostility. And this hostility between believer and unbeliever is simply a reflection of the hostility between the unbeliever and God. A hostility that exists because ever since the fall, every person has been born into the house of destruction. All this is why God went to work again and continues to do so with his palace of peace. God went back to work, really, from the beginning to build a new house A palace, a palace that cannot be destroyed because it would depend entirely on him to build it. God described this new house when he said, I will put enmity or hostility between you and the woman and between your offspring and hers. He will crush your head and you will strike his heel. In that first gospel promise, God laid out the blueprints for his new building. His new building, his palace of peace, which would destroy the hostility between unbeliever and God and create peace between all people who would share in this faith, both Jew and Gentile. Just as Paul writes, he did all this to reconcile both of them to God through the cross, by which he put to death their hostility. He came and preached peace to you who were far away and peace to those who were near. For through him we both have access to the Father by one Spirit. Friends, by being built together through faith into the Christian church, God makes his home in you. He destroyed the wall that separated you from him. He has destroyed your sin and brought you peace in Christ who poured out his blood for you on the cross. Through faith, he has changed your hostility toward him and others who now share in your spiritual citizenship. Consequently, you are no longer foreigners and strangers, but fellow citizens with God's people and also members of his household. Amen.